So here's the number one Bantamweight contender making his way to the octagon. Got to be some nerves here as he gets set to compete for the UFC Bantamweight title. No denying he deserves to be there. He's got the requisite win streak. He's got the finishes. He's got the popularity, the fan support. Now he needs the championship performance. We'll see if he has what it takes to unseat the incumbent. Well, he has successfully defended the title, and that is the goal in front of him yet again tonight. The UFC's bantamweight champion of the world. And not only does he believe he is the best right now, he believes he is the best 135-pound fighter of all time. If you want to be in that class tonight, certainly one this young man has got to have. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Sterling is 31, Cejudo is 33. Sterling will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Phantom Weight. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona. Introducing the challenger, Henry the Messenger. So who? And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Uniondale, New York, presenting, reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Main Punk Master Sterling. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outfit. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a 
kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! Oh, just opening up on him now. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. And they separate. Effective punch there by Sterling. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Now a kick to the bottom. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. So just over 20 total strikes, as you see there, have landed for Aljamain Sterling. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Big policy punch land. Now he gets back to range. It got defended, but it will give Henry the idea that takedown may be coming. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. When you're in the clinch, you go to the body. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Big power shot there. Great punch. Lands another strike to the body. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Beautiful movement. Hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Sterling's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready? Good. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Knee to the body. Got it up. But didn't get it to the target. Blocked there. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown. Scramble to his feet. his opponent's night. And there is our UFC Bantamweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets the knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion So there he is.
is the still UFC Bantamweight champion of the world, and you know these 135 pounds.